Experts say 80% of Palestinian population is Muslim and women form a significant part of it. Since 1948, Palestine has been facing grave problems, but these Palestinian women have always remained courageous enough to perform in conflict situations. Movement of Palestinian women, however, is connected to the general condition of Palestinian state. The liberation of women goes hand in hand with the liberation of Palestine, experts are convinced. The feminist movement should not homogenize the women issue. So sometimes local issues are different from what the feminist movement has to say. So when we want to support a certain movement in a certain country, we should look at the specification of this country. Different human development indicators have shown a declining trend in human development and in gender terms, which is quite contradictory to what's actually happening in Pakistan. Since 2001, a gender quota of 33% seats is reserved for women at the local government level and 17% in the National Assembly, Provincial Assemblies and in Senate has been bringing a significant number in the formal arena of politics in Pakistan. In politics now, have you seen women parliamentarians, once they have given chance to serve in the, in, in the parliament or in the local government, women have performed extremely well. If you look at the political parties, the leadership is not very gender sensitive, they will not be giving um, you know, women a chance to serve in position of uh, power. Although women of third world are labeled as backward, non-participatory and depicted as completely oppressed by absolute patriarchal system, but their engagement in different walks of life, especially politics, negate the impression. Experts believe for any sustainable human and physical development, gender mainstreaming should be further encouraged. With cameraman Ibrahim Ajnabi, Kashmala Chaudhary, SDTV, Islamabad.